Hey Reefers, so today we're going to be diving into the PAR readings on my brand new Reef Breeders Meridian Light Fixture and Edge LED bars. I'm using the 150 watt 24 inch Meridian with 260 watt 24 inch edge bars to light up my corals. The fixture offers a high end slim sleek design with an IP65 rating that is going to look aesthetically pleasing over any aquarium. Now let's break down what PAR is. By definition, this is what PAR means. PAR stands for photosynthetically active radiation. It measures the amount of light available for photosynthesis in an aquarium, specifically within the 400 to 700 nanometer wavelength range. The light is essential for the growth of corals and other photosynthetic organisms in your reef tank. Now, the Reef Breeders team has introduced OHM Optics, which lets you customize your tank's lighting with three distinct lens options balanced, focus, and encompass. These lenses are designed to ensure optimal light coverage and intensity. Today we'll explore how each lens performs so you can determine which one is best suited for your tank. First up is the focus lens. This lens uses narrow optics to concentrate the light into a tighter beam, reducing the spread and directing more intense light to specific areas of the tank. This focus beam penetrates deeper into the water, making it ideal for tall or deep tanks where uniform light coverage isn't as critical, but higher light intensity is needed in certain areas. At 100%, all channels on the Meridian using the focus lens combined with the two edge bars, we are hitting par in the 1200s at the Acros, 18 inch from the lenses, 900 par at the middle of the tank, 24 inches from the lenses, and 4 to 500 at the sand bed, 34 inches from the lenses. Next, we have the Reef Breeders Balance Lens with medium optics. This lens covers a broader area of the tank while still directing light deeper into the water. It creates more uniform illumination across the tank, reducing hot spots and shadows. This lens is perfect for standard sized tanks or where even light distribution is crucial for the health and growth of your reef inhabitants. At 100% all channels on the Meridian using the balance lens combined with the two edge bars, we are hitting par in the 800s at the Acros, 18 inches from the lenses, 5 to 600 par at the middle of the tank, 24 inches from the lenses, and 400s at the sand bed, 34 inches from the lenses. And finally, the Encompass Lens. This wide lens offers an ultra-wide light spread, providing broad and even illumination across the entire tank. It's particularly beneficial for shallow or very wide tanks, ensuring that the light reaches all areas, including the far corners. By distributing light evenly, the Encompass Lens minimizes hotspots and promotes uniform coral growth, creating a natural-looking and visually pleasing display. At 100% all channels on the Meridian, using the Encompass lens, combined with two edge bars, we are hitting par in the 700s at the Acros, 18 inches from the lenses, 500s par at the middle of the tank, 24 inches from the lenses, and 3 to 400s at the sand bed, 34 inches from the lenses. Due to opting for the dual panel 24 inch Meridian on my aquarium, I am using the focus lens. The focus lens has helped prevent the light from bleeding out the tank too much by directing the light beam more towards the sand bed. I'm running my lights at 25% so I can get 430 par at my acros and 150 par at my sand bed. The 11 inch model would have been sufficient enough for this tank, but I like to go overkill. If I was using the 11 inch Meridian on this cube, then I more than likely would have gone with a balance lens for more spread. So there you have it, a look at PAR readings and how the new Reef Breeders lenses can optimize your tank lighting so you can get a comprehensive look at all the spreads and numbers. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because next week we're going to be comparing the PAR readings to other brands such as Radions, Refactory, and Aqua Illumination. Till next time, peace.